The power of the vortex does the work. No rush in it, just slow it down. Let it, let it come naturally to you. Stay with us, this is really good. Feel the absence of anyone pushing you. Not trying to have a teaching moment or a, or a understanding moment, just acknowledging the okayness of just being. Just be. In this sort of deconstruction of chatter. I can feel the well-being of this universe. I'm all right with what anybody is up to. They all have value, regardless of where they are or what they're after. I love them all, but I hereby proclaim their basic irrelevance to me. Their basic, their basic irrelevance, irrelevance to me. Some are aware of me, some are not. I neither seek awareness from those from whom I don't have it, or try to release the awareness from those I do have. I proclaim it all, irrelevant what is relevant is my in this moment awareness of my relationship with who I really am my relationship with who I really am and I feel it profoundly I know my value in special new ways. I feel sort of reborn, almost like I must have felt the day I was born, except that this time my platform is more known to me. And I've filled my vortex with things that I want and the rebooting process that has just taken place with me within me I can feel that I now get that step three that Abraham has been harping about for so long I now understand that step one I took care of a long time ago long time ago step two was never my work to begin with source has always been in my vortex lining everything up for me and now my work my singular work is that step three allowing of myself to raise my frequencies to the level of what's in my vortex for automatic and natural and frequent and quite readily available unfolding I 
I can feel that it isn't about what I do. It's all about how I feel. It's all about how I feel. And my life recently has shown me that if I try too hard, I go off in a crazy direction. And that all along it has been in the lack of trying. And anytime I myself or anyone else I have ever known has shown me lack of trying, what they've really been showing me is confidence in who they are and where they are. Confidence. The trying amplifies their lack of belief in themselves, in the laws of the universe, in source itself, in well-being. But in the absence of trying, there is a triumphant recognition that my worthiness has nothing to do with my effort or my trying. That my worthiness has always been a vibrational recipe that I now through trial and error have magnificently achieved magnificently achieved and so I get it that my work is not do nothing because focusing is not doing nothing My work is not do nothing because deliberately conjuring emotion within myself is doing something. Loving is doing something. Loving is doing something. But there's a difference between the doing of loving and the doing of buying a ticket. There's a difference between the doing of loving and the trying to manipulate some physical experience. And I am done with the effort, but I am not done with the doing. My doing is focusing. And my focusing is feeling. And emotion is the general in the vortex beginning place of that which I am. So I proclaim to the universe, I love life. I love love love. I love, I love, I love, I love. Now let's just stay there because it's, it, it stirs up stuff all over the place. I love, I appreciate, I appreciate, oh, appreciate feels better than love. Appreciate is, it's the same vibration, but it's cleaner. It's, there's less stuff attached to it. I, I appreciate where I am. I appreciate what I've been through. I appreciate knowing what I know. I appreciate being who I be. I appreciate the path I've been on because I appreciate where I stand. I appreciate what surely is in my vortex. I appreciate the path that's going to unfold. I appreciate the fun I'm going to have. I appreciate the fun I'm having even now. I appreciate, I appreciate feeling what I'm feeling. I appreciate being able to feel in this keen way that I do. I appreciate knowing who I am. I appreciate blending with the source within me. I appreciate standing on the cusp of so much that is to come. I appreciate anticipating what's coming. I appreciate knowing that it's not going to come all at once. I appreciate that it's not going to all come at once. 
I appreciate that it will come as I can easily digest it. I appreciate that it's going to come easily. I appreciate that it's going to unfold in a way that feels like ease. I appreciate that I'm going to be able to savor it as it comes. I appreciate that I don't have to eat it all at once. I appreciate that it's going to come in bits and pieces as I as I'm ready for it. I appreciate the readiness that I've achieved. I appreciate everyone who's been part of this unfolding for me, but I, I, I appreciate how irrelevant everyone else's opinion is about all of this. I appreciate my understanding that my inner being exists. I appreciate knowing how my inner being feels. I really love lining up with who my inner being is. I love knowing that there are so many things that I don't have to think about now. I, I love the emotion that is within me and I love my recognition that sometimes I can think a thought and right away I can begin to feel the knot tightening and I can just say oh the knot is tightening I do not need to think about that right now and I can feel the releasing of the knot I love recognizing that I have the ability to focus my mind but more important I have the ability to focus my energy but more important I have the ability to be who I really am but more important in my alignment with all that I really am the source within me will join me emphatically and fully with no restriction in this moment I love recognizing that I have the ability to focus my mind but more important I have the ability to focus my energy but more important I have the ability to be who I really am but more important in my alignment with all that I really am the source within me will join me emphatically and fully with no restriction in this moment what I've been reaching for all along the riches that I've been reaching for is the combining of the physical and the non-physical me in a meaningful moment right here and now. Right here right and now. Here now. To have a conversation with someone and have my inner being involved in the conversation means I no longer try so hard because when you're hooked up with your inner being the words that come out of you are always the perfect words in the perfect time at the perfect place with the perfect person in other words I don't have to explain to anyone anything I don't have to make anybody understand anything all I have to do is be who I am because the universe will not sync me up with those who are not ready for me so all I have to do is be real be present be alive be alert and be emotionally aware of, of what I'm feeling in any moment in time. Hmm. Seems like I'm in the right place at the right time. Seems like it seems like it can continue to get better and will. Seems like I've been playing this life just right seems like everything that I am is culminated has culminated into something that is even more seems like I can't get it wrong seems like I'm never gonna get it done seems like I can't get it wrong seems like I'm never gonna get it done seems like I've deconstructed some thought seems like deconstructing thought can be noticed as boring has been we know it's boring it's boring but but it's we know it's boring but isn't there a peacefulness in boredom isn't there a isn't there a 
place somewhere in your life for five minutes off isn't isn't there isn't there some satisfaction in not needing to jump right on the thought and explain it to someone isn't isn't there something to be said for just being who you are and letting who you are demonstrate who you are do you, do you see how your incessant need to communicate and and strike approval or strike a chord or make a point or or get someone to understand you do you see how that incessant need for feedback from the humans who surround you has deprived you of your central feeling of well-being you see wouldn't wouldn't you like to just go out into the world for a day or two or three and just demonstrate through your alignment and demonstrate through your connection how happy you are about life don't you want to yodel down the canyons don't you want to get on your bicycle and feel your body's brilliance don't you want to smile at someone and mean it so completely that you turn inside out as your light eyes shine at them don't you want to communicate the pure essence of who you are and don't you want to forevermore stop justifying all of it to anyone you see this is the ultimate state of allowing we promise you it won't be boring we promise you that a day or two of conscious rebooting of of not needing to talk in other words as you go home to those who love you and they say so tell me about it say to them no <laughs> all I want to do is kiss your face all I want to do is let you feel my love for life and you all I want to do is radiate my appreciation for this world and this relationship and this house and this life I just I just want to stay in this place of knowing the perfection of where we all are and savor it just for a little while I, I don't want to talk myself out of this general central vibrational alignment place you see talk less and feel more defend never and praise only Talk less and feel more. Defend never and praise only. To find things that feel good and savor them with your eyes. To, to take them in for you, for you, for you, for you, for you. Take it in for you. Take it in for you. Take it in for you, not to help another, not to uplift another, not to hype another, not to talk another into it, not, not to try to bring somebody from where they're not to where they want to be or from where they're not to where you are. Are you, are you hearing what we're saying? Just get there and be there and stay there and practice the vibration of it and be in your vortex and let the vortex do the work of it and you stand in constant verbal acknowledgement of what's coming to you let your vocabulary be about well that was nice and that was beautiful and that was good and thank you so much let yourself be one who articulates your awareness of the good that's coming but who is in no way defending or justifying or rationalizing the good that hasn't come yet that you want to come can you feel the distinction as you get there 
and many of you are there and you stay there and you milk it and you let yourself practice with others as as someone tries to draw you into a conversation and you look at the expression on their face and you can tell whether when you get in you're gonna like it or not and instead of going in you just stand in your own ownership of your own vibration with your own inner being and you just radiate to them no matter who they are or where they are or what they're talking about you just radiate your appreciation for where they are but in your mind you say to yourself just for a little while it's irrelevant to me it's irrelevant to me I'm not looking for your guidance I'm not looking for your harmony I'm not looking for your approval I'm not looking for your allegiance I'm not looking for your following I'm not looking for your approval your approval your approval your approval I I'm just standing here being the radiator of who I am who I am The power of the vortex does the work. What is relevant is my, in this moment, awareness of my relationship with who I really am. It's all about how I feel. There is great love here for you. 